all the windows are now in so it's a lovely Sunday and uh, it's going to be raining later today so uh, I have to, I want to put the window in just temporarily so to do that we just have to extend the hole it's about five centimeters this way and about 15 this way and also about 15 up see we have a nice gap for insulation all the way around uh, and for now it's just fastened so it stands in the wall it's not the, the right distance from the wall it has to stick out for the drip tray to be able to come under it and grab the water and deliver it to the outside but yeah that uh, looks uh, awesome I'm happy so let's just work couple of hours more for today and then do some jujits. Uh, the bottom plate is six inches and uh, it has to stick out the thickness of the asphalt plate right plus the thickness of the furring the first layer of the furring right because I wanted to cover that so it should be it should be good to go soon it must be ripped probably a little bit but not much so let's check what's the thickness of the of those two and maybe just start there you know fasten that to the to the wall so we can put some insulation in down here so let's take this spot as an example right so don't you mind that I just fasten them so they sit they have no other function than to get an attachment point for this bottom bottom piece of wood so um, the asphalt plate is 12 millimeters thick and the button is about 21 millimeters right which let's say gives 25 millimeters I know that along the wall the depth of that piece is different it differs I know because I cut them and I had to cut all of them separately so that means that we have to measure each and every single one and then rip the board for the correct size right but if you see here there is almost 11 centimeters up to that point plus 35 it's 14 and a half let's say so here I don't have to rip the board at all However, let's move. Let's move to that spot here. Here, there's, on, there's only 10 centimeters, which means I have to rip about a centimeter off of that board. So here is the line. 
look at the difference so and then it just becomes nothing about here but I'll just start from there So let's just take half an hour to insulate some. Just go along the top ridge, right? Uh, I changed my mind. I won't touch the bottom today because it's supposed to rain later. And if it rains with the wind down that little hill there, so it might uh, just, uh, you know, I might just wet myself. So I don't want that. But uh, as you can see, the bottom is now fastened and uh, yeah, it looks good. Right, so there is still a piece of the tar here to insulate, so hopefully it won't rot as fast. But there, yeah, let's just cut some strips of that and uh, insulate. So it's the next day. I'm basically ready for the insulation of the bottom part. However, there is just one little detail I want to do just for my mental health. And this is a bracing on both sides of the wall, right? So I have these planks, they are 25 mil thick. And I want to brace the wall this way here and that way over there because I figured there is nothing holding the house upright without the bracing, right? And the bracing, the old bracing that was in the corners, I removed it obviously. Um, 
I think it's still visible in here. Some sort of lame-ish bracing. So uh, we're going to tackle that. And before also, I want to maybe start opening this corner here because that has to go. That is rotten at the bottom here. Eaten, eaten alive. So I'm going to remove that and maybe remove part of that also if it's in bad shape. Uh, install pressure treated here. And then uh, instead of that, we'll just go for two by eight. spot for both braces are ready the braces themselves are ready so now let's just jump into the uh, the corner here and remove that uh, 4x4 and see what's what's underneath So that was definitely attacked, but there is no sign of it seeping into the next piece. Look at how this looks like. It looks brand spanking new, right? It's healthy as hell, so I'm not going to touch it. However, I just did cut off that piece here that was in the slot. And uh, just to check, you know, because I need to know, well, you know, now while the while the it's it's open here right so what i'm going to do now is cut off this piece of wood, this piece of wood right there because it doesn't look so good this one here so this one here has to come off this one here has to come off i probably cut it here somewhere and then maybe i'll just slot that one right here and put a new piece in just for my own brain health and I'll just connect it to the foundation like that yeah that's what I'm gonna do
so now I'm finally ready to insulate. I'm probably going to I'm going to vacuum all that uh, crap that uh, came again, and also I'm not afraid to show you the the corner piece here, which I just used scrap pieces I had uh, laying around and I'm not afraid to say that because wood is bloody expensive now this is just holding the corner in place right with no other function so yeah that's how it looks like so there is a, a tenner coming in there around and underneath and 20s in here so let's do it <laughs> 